Hey everybody, I'm Hannah from Hannah Morgan Horsemanship and this is our trailer loading series with Rye, um, our nearly yearling quarter horse gelding. So uh, this is step eight that we're gonna check out today. Hi. And um, what I wanna make sure he can do is step backwards over things that he cannot see. Um, so as I've said before, a lot of times getting off the trailer um, is more important than getting on because it's harder for the horse um, and once they're on they don't have a choice they have to get off so um, one of the things that's hard for them about it is stepping back down off of that trailer um, without really being able to see where they're going so it takes good proprioception um, and it takes some control of their feet so um, we're going to start with this pole here on the ground i'm going to walk him forward over it first um, cause he's got, he's pretty confident about that. He's pretty good at it. There we go. Doesn't think much of it. And then we're just going to do that a few times. Just kind of get his head in the game a little bit. Good. There. Good. And when we talk about skills building on other skills, um, one of the first skills that we made sure he had was a solid backup. So that's a skill that I'm going to be using um, to build this skill. So he already has a good backup. And now I'm just going to add it so that we can back him up over things. All right. So I'm going to start out really slow. I have not asked him to do this before. So I'm going to ask for a back. And at first, if he gives me a step even towards what I'm asking him to do, great, I'll release. That's the right answer. And then we'll go for another step. He wants to swing out to the side, no big deal. He wasn't set up great for that because he was kind of on that side of the post, so I'm gonna set him up better and then try again. So I'm gonna try to set him up more in the middle, good. All right, if he wants to be squirmy and lose his mind, no big deal. I'm gonna do something else that he has to think about real quick. Good. I'm gonna play with some stuff he already knows how to do. Good. There. All right, now. It wasn't graceful, but it wasn't bad. I'll get that last leg over. Good. Now he's more set up in the middle. Can I have that? Thank you. I'm gonna take that lead rope out of his mouth just so he can concentrate a little bit on what I'm asking. So I'll ask for that backward step. Good. If he wants to float this way, I may come on this side and help him out a little bit. I'll ask again. Good. It was small, but I'm going to give him that. He can't see that pole, but he knows it's there because he already walked over it. So a lot of horses get kind of nervous about walking backwards over stuff they, they don't see very well. Hey, buddy, I know, I know, I know. And all this nervous energy right here um, is a good indicator to me, because I know this horse, that he is a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious about what's happening. There. And a lot of times if I can just get him to turn it into a yawn, he ends up relaxing a little bit. Good. I'm not letting him bite me. Good. All right, there. So he quiets down a little bit. He's licking and chewing. Now we'll try again. I'll ask for that backward step. I'm just going to stay. He's struggling a little bit. I'm just going to stay. I'm not going to punish him. I'm not going to... There. Good. That was the world's smallest backward step, but he's touching that pole now. And right after he did it, I don't know if you heard it, but he went... <gasps> he took a big deep breath. So I'm going to let him sit with that for a minute. There. Good. All right. Good. 
So now I might see if I can get him to actually put a foot over it. He's there, good. He's invading my space, there, good. There, see him kind of turn that into a yawn? That's a lot, that's a lot for him. It doesn't look like a lot to us, but he's telling me with every behavior that he really is not quite confident about what's happening. He's trying to get all over me and bite everything. So I might throw in a few more, just walking straight over it. Good. Good. All right. I'm gonna get my lead rope back, maybe. Good, all right. So, I'm gonna make sure he's quiet. Good. Right there, he's... Good. So kind of like when I said before, when he gets nervous, he's real space invady, trying to push me around with his body. What I don't wanna do is be super reactive to him but what I do want to do is direct that energy. So if he wants to push his shoulder and his face into me and bite me, I'm going to direct that energy somewhere else. Good. So then if he, so I'm in his right eye, I need him to move over. Good. And then we might just walk on like nothing happened. I'm going to take his lead rope away. Good. There. That's better. Hi. Now I'm not going to let him bite me. I'm not going to let him bite the lead rope right now because I want him to try and find a way to feel better without it. Up till now, I've been humoring him a little bit and letting him have that lead rope. I want to see if he can find a way to feel better without it. And if I have to define that space a little bit, so that he feels comfortable standing by himself, then I'll do that. Now right there, he did go to bite me. What I didn't do was sock him in the mouth. I held my hand there and he smashed his head against it. So anytime that he's coming for me, I'm the wall. I'm not gonna reach out, but I am gonna stay and have him yield to me. Because he gets really, this is good that we're getting this on video because this is his stress response. You haven't seen much of it so far because everything that we've done up until this point hasn't stressed him out this much. But when he gets really upset, when he's not sure that he's safe, when he feels insecure, this is how it manifests. So to help him through that, I just define that space a little bit. Good. I just use my energy, good, good, to help him find a space where he can stand without having to mug me. Again, I'm not going to let him have that lead rope. I want him to find a, there, good. And a lot of times that's finally what will happen. He gets through all that and he'll start yawning and really relaxing. And that's what I want to make sure I've got before I try to go back to do, doing whatever I was doing before. Good. So I'm not going to let him have it. I'm going to see if he can be okay without it. He's going to get pretty insistent that he needs that to feel better. I'm going to tell him he doesn't. Good, I'm gonna define my space a little bit. Good, I'm gonna define my space this direction. 
He's a lot more stiff with me on this left shoulder. So you'll notice every time I try to move him around to the left. Can I have that back, please? Good. He's a little stiffer and he's a little more reactive. Good. So I'm just using my flag as an extension of my energy in my body to get him to pick that shoulder up and recognize that I have a space bubble. So again, I'm gonna turn my energy on. He's gonna have to, good, vacate my space. And then I might do something to just get his attention back on me. There, so that we stay connected. So it was gonna be a video about stepping backwards over poles uh, and it became one about how to handle anxiety when you're trying to do other stuff, but good. Um, but when it comes up, you kind of have to deal with it. And if I, if I were to just push him through right now and try to do a bunch of other stuff, um, it wouldn't go well because he's not in the headspace for it. He already is telling me that he doesn't think he's safe. He doesn't think that he, like he doesn't feel good and he's trying all these different things to make himself feel better. So I'm going to sort that out first. And I've, um, I've showed you guys a little bit about how I'm going to do that. So I won't make this video any longer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make sure that good. And I'm not going to let him sit there and try to snatch at that lead rope forever. At some point, I'm going to get his mind on something else. Great. If he wants to switch and go be curious about something, that's better. That's a better reaction than trying to eat me. I'm not going to let him eat that wood either, but step in the right direction. Anyway. So, yeah, that's going to be step eight. It was messy. Um, I'm going to practice that a lot more before I, uh, before I get him on the trailer so that I make sure that he feels comfortable. Um, but, again, step number one is relaxation. If I lose that, um, i got to get that back first. So that's what I'm going to work on um, before we do some more step eight and uh, get him on the trailer. Thanks.